So the other day I was browsing through magic collections on eBay and I saw this one that had just been listed. It was $100, had like six days left in the auction, zero bids on it. And in the pictures, there were a few interesting cards. There was like a couple of beta basic lands, a somewhat beat up beta gloom, a Tempest reanimate that I could use for commander. And I was like, all right, there is no way I'm actually gonna win this for a hundred bucks, but you know what? I'll throw in a bid, why not? So I put in the hundred dollar bid, forgot all about it, went back to doing my normal stuff. And then like a week later, I got a message from eBay saying, hey, you won this magic collection for $100. And I was like, oh no, I did not actually expect to win this. So I got the box today of this mostly accidental eBay buy. We're gonna crack open this $100 collection and see if we actually make our money back or if we get wrecked. So anyway, let's jump into it. All right, so this is a collection I bought off of eBay for $100. So. <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't sure I was gonna win this. Uh, I saw it and it looked like it was like probably a good enough deal that I was like, all right, 100 bucks, I'll throw a bid in and we'll see what happens. And then it turns out <laughs> no one else bid it on it. And uh, I got it, which maybe that's a good thing. It always makes me a little nervous when no one else bids that maybe I overbid and it's actually not that good of a deal. But I figured since we're doing this pack opening stuff, it's just a little one, it's just a little one. We might as well uh, crack it open and, and see what we got. So um, in the listing, this was all a binder, but it did say in the listing that uh, we wouldn't actually have the binder. So it looks like we got one, two, three, oh, a few little packs of cards. Well, let's see. Let's see what we got. Let's start with this Grasp of Fate pack, which is probably, I mean, it's just an uncommon. So how, how good can it be? So we'll see. So we spent a hundred bucks. That means we'd really like to get $200 of value out of it at a minimum to uh, to really make it worth it. I will say these cards are, they're sleeved and packaged nicely, which is good. Like that's a good sign. Condition is a big deal when it comes to magic collections. Like if we're actually gonna make money off of this, we really want the cards to be in decent condition. So uh, Grasp of Fate, Swords and Plowshares is, is worth something. It's not a, not a big hit, but enough to set aside Mirror Smith, Hearth Charm, Thermatog. I do love the Atogs, although I don't know if this is, <laughs> it's not worth anything. Mulch, random comment, questing these. Okay, okay, that's a, that's a good one. Good for the, good for the fog meta. The answer to the fog meta. Honestly, this has went up in value, as far as gameplay at least, because of the one ring. Ooh, Craw Giant. I don't know how much Craw Giant from Legends is worth, but that's actually in, wow. Well, okay, there's, it's, is it a little dinged up down in the corner? A little bit. You can see a little bit on the bottom, especially with older cards from like uh, Alpha Beta Legends. You really need a, uh, so how are we gonna sort these? These are good cards. These are old cards. These are good on commons. This will be the like bulkish rares. Ooh, <laughs> can we add a billion counters? Can we add a billion counters to the Gruff Triplets? Raw of Razors, Goblin Spot. Ooh, all right, you gotta look at this one. So this is a Gloom. You can tell by, let's take it out of here. So you can tell by the quarter, uh, corners that it's not alpha. It's got the normal corners. If you ever want to check if your card is from alpha or beta, um, alpha has much more rounded corners. So if the corners look roughly like a modern card, it's a, it's beta and not alpha. Let's see what the condition's like though. Beta is still super rare. So you can see kind of dinged up here on the side, a little bit dinged at the top. Man, just look at how beautiful these old cards are. This is 30 years old. I know it's just a gloom. It's not anything like ridiculous, but that's just, what a beautiful magic card. And then the back, yeah, I mean, honestly, it does. it's not that bad. It's not, it's definitely not near mint. Like this, this is the worst issue right here. Can you, can you say that? Maybe I gotta take it out of the sleeve. Like right in here, you can see it, it dinged up a bit. So that's, that is an issue. Really though, other than that, it's pretty nice. Better better than I would have expected. So I don't know, it's always hard to tell with, with old cards like Alpha and Beta, it's so condition dependent that the value goes up and down a lot based on condition. Jingatha, Jingatha, Jingatha. Ooh, fancy Tovalar. I do like that they're all, I mean, it's annoying that they're all sleeved because I got to unsleeve them, <laughs> but it's good for condition. Uh, Beast Whisperer. I don't know if Beast Whisperer is worth much, but it is a true commander stable. Higher ground, higher ground, higher ground, higher ground. Ooh, Karmic Justice. Karmic Justice, I think, was worth money in the past. The problem is, the problem is it was just a, uh, 
Oh, I was going to say Mystical Archive. Definitely not Mystical Archive. Enchanted Tale. It was just an Enchanted Tale. This is the one that we haven't played yet. We've played almost all of them. I mean, it still should be worth something, though. New Bane Slayer. Contempt. What a weird mix. A bunch of Henge of Ramos is... Ooh. A Borderless Vesuvian Duplomancy. Nice. <laughs> you go from, like, Modern Mythic to Random Tempest Uncommon? It's just, like, such a strange mix. Interdict, I don't think this is worth anything. I'm pretty sure it's not. I don't know. We'll put it in the good uncommons just to check. March of the Machines. Elven Fortress. One mana enchantment. Target blocking creature gets plus one plus turn to turn for two mana. That is a bad magic card. Ooh, Valve Spinoderm. I gotta get rid of these extra sleeves. Tranquil fill back. I do like that uh, that card style. Spinoderm, Spinoderm. Wait, this is... Spinoderm's a rare, right? Yeah, it's a rare. I don't think it's a valuable rare. It's Endicar Resurgent. Another elf. Man, so many Jengathas. Whoever we got this collection from us really like Jengatha. The funny thing is it's a companion, so you really only ever need one of them. All right, what do we got in here? Ooh. Tivish Gloom Summoner. So this is from, what, Commander 2021. Five minute, four, four, life. When you've been your hands up, you gain life this turn, you may pay X, where X is the amount of life you gain this turn. If you do create an XX Black Demon, I've never seen anyone play this card. <laughs> never seen it. Solemn Doom Guide. Commander Legends, Baldur's Gate. Pontiff of Blight. A little exhortation. Valentin. Nihilith. Upside down. I want a refund. I want my money back. <laughs> this Asmodeus Large Moon was upside down ebay archery despite heat in a strove so there's a lot of bulk rares in here Ooh, rock of carriages ah uh, back in look at that oh, look at that art just look at how sweet that is it's just like so nostalgic look at just what a beautiful what a beautiful magic card <laughs> so flying hill giant back when the flying hill giant was actually a rare alabaster Ooh, some portal action that's sweet Oh, I just threw the Alabaster Dragon. Um, Survivors, another Rocky Cure Ridges, Hamlet Goliath, another Alabaster Dragon. A little battle action. So, so far, Cloud Key. I don't think Cloud Key is worth much. It is a good combo piece, but it's been reprinted too much. Hornet Cannon, that's not a rare. Curiosity, that's not foil or anything, right? No, it is not. Oh, Desertion. When I first started playing Commander, I would play Desertion in so many decks. The idea of, like... I'm going to counter your thing and steal it. Was just so intoxicating. Turns out, five mana. Just too much. Too much for a counter. Uh, but maybe I'm going to have to start playing them again because they have a ton of them. Ooh, all right. Some more old school. Grafanu's Restoration. One mana sorcery. Take any number of artifacts. Ugh. Take any number of artifacts to your choice from target players. Great for and place them on top of their library in any order. We got two of them. How... Eh, they're not they're not bad i mean they're 30 years old so obviously they're not going to be like near mint most of the time a couple of drain powers drain power is pretty funny this is a card that just does not make sense in modern magic opponent must draw all mana from his or her available lands this mana and all mana in an opponent's mana pool drains into your mana pool you can't take less than all your opponent's mana so this was a card that was designed to work because of mana burn back in the old days of magic if you had unspent mana at the end of a step or phase you lost life equal to the amount of unspent mana so you would take mana burn so the idea of this card was you could like force your opponent to tap out uh if your opponent like floated all their mana you would steal all their mana the problem would be if you couldn't spend all their mana and remember this is going to be their colors of mana so if you can't spend all that mana you're gonna end up taking a bunch of damage from it so it just doesn't work this same way it used to but kind of a cool idea all right i gotta pick up this alabaster dragon before before buries it did you hear your name bud bear is sitting next to me gnawing on a bone <laughs> He has been known to eat some magic cards in the past. All right, we, we still have a few packs left. What do we get in this pack? Hall of Mist. Cumulative upkeep. No creature can attack if it attacked during its controller's last turn. Ah, lands that don't make mana are always tough, but it is kind of a cool effect. I've never seen anyone play it. Jungle Shrine. I mean, I still play these on occasion in uh, budget commander decks. Really three color decks. Five color decks I don't play them as much. 
Uh, Path to Exile. Ah, oh, that used to be good. There was a time. Scroll of Fate. This one actually has seen some legacy play. Fire Mines Vessel, Vessel. Belduvian Trading Post. This is from the same cycle of Lake of the Dead, which is ridiculously expensive, but I don't think this one is ridiculously expensive. When it comes into play, sack an Omptat and Mountainer, bury it, add one in a red, or pay one, tap it, one damage to target attacking creature. Heart of Yavmaya. Fountain of Cho. The storage lands are in a bit more demand now because of, uh, because of the Mississippi River deck in Legacy. Some dice rolling action. <laughs> the Apes of Wrath. I think Monkey is the most underrated. <laughs> the most underrated creature. Just look at the best art in Magic. You got monkeys <laughs> doing into the background of art. You got these grumpy ones just kind of hanging out. So good. So good. Uh, not worth anything. Oh, Eternal Witness. I will use that in Commander. I li also like Utopia Tree. It's a really bad mana dork, but it's a it's a tree. Titania Song, Titania Song, Titania Song, Titania Song. Uh, River Boa. Ooh, Hideaway Land, Spine Rock Knoll. Undergrowth Stadium. That's a that's a legit card. That has value. Pathway. Nice. The Rakdos one. Drown Catacombs. Cabal Stronghold. Uh, the worst. The worst coffers. Tendo Ice Bridge. Oh, these are actually some... Ooh, Silent Clearing. So these are actually some decent lands. Nah, maybe not the Ice Bridge, but that's some value there. That's some value. We might... We might actually get our money. Ooh. All right. Let's see what we got here. We still need some value. So we have, in hard cases, oh, these are nice. Let's see what the condition's like. So these are beta basic land. I know it probably seems weird to get hyped about basic land, but beta basic lands are actually kind of valuable. Let's see how we're doing condition-wise. So this is the planes. You can see a little bit. A little bit up at the top here along this. I mean, yeah, it's a little. It's a little dinged up. Nothing extreme, though. That's that's not bad. I mean, it's not going to be a PSA 10 or whatever, but it's it doesn't look bad. The mountain. Ooh, the mountain actually looks even better. This one actually might be near mint. Let's, let's look at this. Is there anything wrong with this mountain? That's like actually a very nice beta mountain. Maybe like, oh, I don't know. I don't know, that might actually just be near mint. That actually looks, well, maybe a little scuffed. Like, boy, if you really get the angle just right, maybe a little bit scuffed right here at the bottom, but those are actually very nice. Those are, those are hits. Ooh, Liliana Vest. Liliana Vest is such a cool planeswalker. Nostalgic. Oh, what are we in here? So a Liliana Vess. Rihanna. Ooh, that's actually that's some uh, that's the money. That is the big money that we fit so far. Reanimate. What the? What is this? Are these art cards? Why are there art cards? Why do I? Wait, serialized? Oh no, that's <laughs> definitely not serialized. It's forty of fifty-four art cards. Oh, this one is a signature. I don't think these are worth anything though. I don't know. So we have a, I know the gold signature. I do not know much about art cards. I know you get them in packs and I mostly throw them away. Is that a Belcher? They are kind of neat. They make cool proxies. Like if you didn't have a Belcher, I'd let you run in uh, this in your commander deck. Well, I mean, I guess we have, I guess we have one gold signature art card. My guess is these just are, are worthless though. I don't think they're actually, actually worth anything. We got two, two packs to go here. I don't know. What do you think? Do we get? Are we gonna get our money back? Are we gonna? Are we gonna come out ahead? Okay, Rada. That's uncommon. Oh god, Amara Tandris. People hate this card. <laughs> so disappointing. The rest of the cycle when it came out was like pretty good, and this one was so bad. So it was the worst by far. So I, I'm glad we got a pile of those. Uh, smother, smother. Shade. Look at those. Look at those eyes. So evil. Back in the day, six mana five five protection white. That was like a legit body. I don't think these cards are worth anything. Homelands are just never worth anything. A bunch of smothers. Righteous War. All white creatures you control gain pro black. All black creatures you control gain pro white. I don't know if that's on reserve list with Nahiri's Resolve. I do like Nahiri's Resolve. It's a cool card. Three Blind Mice. Selenian Archangel. I don't know if this is worth anything or not. Like... It's a, like, sort of cult-following commander for Life Lost deck. So maybe, I mean, it's old. Tempest is a long time ago. 
Restless. What a weird mix of going back to like super early beta Tempest reserve list cards and then just like, oh, Restless Fortress. I don't know how we ended up with this mix of cards. Eldrami's gone. Tunzan. Encroach. Well, the uncommons aren't really worth anything. Ophemia to the slaughter. Another encroach. Uh, old school Diabolic Tutor. I don't, eh, Diabolic Tutor might be worth like a little bit. Witch King and Amar, Inferno Tutor, so he's competitive play. And Spell Coven Witch, I remember Krim being like super high on this. I think Krim just has a fairy bias where he likes fairies because that card's <laughs> not good. <laughs> it is not good. All right, this is our last, our last pack here. What do we get? Sengir, Doom Necromancer, Graz. Oh, that Graz deck we built was so cool. Hmm, <laughs> I do like Graz. Look at that art too. Look at that little, is that his head? The little tiny head in the big machine. Uh, Bone Horde. Hornet Cannon. I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure this is a rare, and it is. Just look at this card. <laughs> Four mana to cast, three tap, put a Hornet into play, treat it as a 1-1 one, one artifact creature with flying in haste, blow it up at end of turn. That was a rare. That was actually literally a rare back in the day. Uh, more Grazes. More Grazes. Dreadhorde Invasion, Hercules Recall, Hunk of Mishra, Sword Point to Blow. Ooh, we built a deck around this. We built a. This was part of a. This was part of the OG Blackburn. Another Ankh. Ah, uh, Cormus Bell. If you ever want to make your commander play group very unhappy, Cormus Bell. And then you uh, play Urborg. So all the creatures, all the lands are 1 1s, and then just like, uh, whatever. Uh, pyroclasm or something. Something that wipes out all the little creatures. Thalia, Thalia, Thalia. Bajani, Adversary of Tyrants. Eye of Singularity. When I comes into play, Burial Permanence except... Look, when I comes into play, Burial Permanence with the same name except for basic lands. Whenever any permanent other than a basic lands comes into play, bury any permanent already in play with the same name. Hmm, okay. Ooh, Northern. Wait, upside down. Refund. Refund me, eBay. Upside down, that's on you. Northern Paladin. Destroy target black uh, creature. Northern Paladin. Cop artifacts. I mean, that is from Antiquities. I don't know who ever plays Circle of Protection artifacts, though. Pay to prevent damage from artifacts. Or it's like, yes, you, you get affinity. Got him. Uh, Nighthark Scavenger. Sleep sleep right. This might be the hit. This went up in price because of that Black Burn deck we played. Ooh, another one. Forcer and Paradigm in Ruinous Path. Well, that's a collection. I'm going to have to total all this up. I am honestly not sure. So I will say, I don't think we crushed it. We definitely didn't get like a thousand dollars of value with our hundred dollar buy or anything like that it wasn't a collection like that on the other hand i mean you're gonna see the numbers on the screen because i'm gonna pop them up so you're already gonna know so it's probably weird why am i uh, talking about it like i don't know but i haven't added it up yet i'm gonna guess that it's uh, 150 175 maybe of like retail value which i guess is fine that's probably like Eh, give or take if we get lucky maybe like making a few bucks maybe breaking even but i don't know i'm gonna add it up but anyway that's the ebay collection anyway thanks for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed it and i will talk to you soon looking for even more box opening fun well you can check out our last couple of box openings here and here